Greetings fellow interloper, it's Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, back with another video from the Noob Tube Library. For this episode, we're going full on horrific. Yeah, that's right. If you're tired of the same old choices at the appearance modifier, you're in for a treat. This, my friends, is Whiskey Barrel Gaming. When you're first starting out, it's easy to assume that all appearance modifications are found in the anomaly at the Quicksilver vendor. Well, I've got good and bad news for you. The good news is, you can still snag this awesome horrific helmet mod. It wasn't actually a limited release item. The bad news is, you will not find it at the Quicksilver Merchant. This one actually is available for sale at any space station from the Scrap Dealer but it won't cost you nanites, quicksilver, or even units. This one's available only to those who have 3200 Tainted Metal, a unit introduced in the Halloween update of 2020. So now you've probably been wondering what the best way to obtain these units are. Excellent question, I'm glad you asked. If your sole intention is to accumulate as much Tainted Metal as possible, then you'll need to run derelict freighter missions. You can get started with those right here at the Scrap Dealer by purchasing an Emergency Broadcast Receiver, something you'll see once you select the Acquire Coordinates option. The first one costs 5 million units, which may seem like a lot when you're first starting out. But wait friends, for the newer No Man's Sky players out there, you can get one Emergency Broadcast Receiver from Helios on the Anomaly. Uh, that's the dude with the tree branches for a head. Man, he reminds me of somebody, I just can't quite put my finger on it. Helios will actually give you one absolutely free once a week. So that saves you five million right there. Simply just ask him about derelict freighters in the menu when you talk to him. But it gets even better. An option which I first became aware of from Jason of Jason Plays is the personal refiner glitch for these transmitters. I'll throw a link to his awesome video in the top right. Basically, once you activate your receiver, you put it in your personal refiner until after you've turned in the logs you get from the freighter. You can then reuse this time and time again without ever having to buy another emergency broadcast receiver. If you've never run a derelict freighter mission before, don't worry, you'll know what I mean in a second. Once you activate your emergency broadcast receiver, you'll need to hit your pulse drive until you get the message telling you that an emergency broadcast has been detected. You'll exit pulse drive and land on the freighter to get started. Once you enter, one of the first tablets you'll see will give you a special security clearance. This is needed to access the red terminal, which gives you the captain's log, as opposed to the green terminal, which gives you the crew manifest. These can be sold for just over 700 tainted metal when you get back to the scrap dealer. These logs provide the vast majority of the tainted metal you'll receive from doing these missions. You could either speed run these and just grab the logs, or you can take your time and loot every briefcase, crate, and locker you see, which can all yield a variety of things from units, nanites, and many other things you can sell later on. The real payday is at the final terminal you'll come to, the engineering terminal. You can either craft a freighter technology module, a freighter bulkhead, which opens up an inventory slot, or you can extract nanites. Most of the time, the nanites you get, which is random, but it's usually around 400, it's less than what you'd get if you sold your freighter mod, which gets you 480 nanite. So it doesn't really make sense to extract nanites here. Hopefully, after watching this video, you can cruise through a few derelict freighter missions and snag yourself a new appearance item to look your horrific best. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support and drop a like. I'd also love to have another subscriber, so please hop on board the SS Whiskey. There's plenty of room for you. If you stuck around this far, you must be curious what else this channel might offer. Here's a couple options you might enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, signing off.